Uh, yeah, listen, we know it's going to be uh, a difficult task. Um, obviously, we respect the player massively. Um, but I don't think it's uh, just an individual thing. I think it's got to be a team collective. Um, we've got to be, you know, on our game 100%. Um, you know, we've got to be switched on at all times um, and be alert to every situation because, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a team effort and a team collective. I don't think it can come down to just one individual trying to stop them. Yeah, I think my generation, yeah, growing up watching football from a young age until now, I think there's pretty obviously been two standout players in the world. Um, I think it's going to be a long time until we see the likes of likes of them again. Um, but I think tomorrow for, for 90 minutes or however long it takes, um, he's just going to have to be another player that we're up against. Um, like I said before, obviously got massive amounts of respect for him and what he's done. Um, but again, it's 11 v 11 um, and we're going to go out there to, to win and get a result. Um, but yeah, certainly in my eyes, he's, he's one of the best to ever do it, yeah. I think it's probably the best thing that could have happened to us, you know, the first game um, and learning from the mistakes that we made. Um, and obviously we stepped up a little bit for the Tunisia game and then I think we, we stepped up again for the Denmark game. Um, and then, you know, we've got to do the exactly the same um, for this one coming up. Um, but I do think, again, we've got to focus on ourselves and what we can do. Um, we've got to be brave in the ball to play. But everything that we put in in, in the last two performances in terms of off the ball, the intensity when we go to press has all got to be there again. Um, if we want to get anything from the game, it, it needs to be there, and 100%.